Sales is the engine that converts the prospects, the people that came from the marketing efforts into the business and eventually it become a transaction. It can be money transaction, it can be something else. Every business have a different bottom line. But the sales in charge on that, on the conversion of a prospect that I'm interested in to, okay, this is my credit card or some kind of a transaction. In the last few years, everything changed. Uh, when I used to go to buy a car, I would go and I would say, I need a nice car. What, what do you have? And he will show me, I have this one, I have this one, I have this one. And I didn't really know what I want. Last decade, five years ago, it's you know, more accurate. I'm going to buy a car and I would say, I want the AMG, I want you know, the, the turbo, I want this, I want, I know exactly what I want. And I also know the price, because everything is online. I know everything about the car. The salesman not supposed to sell me anything, he's supposed to educate me. He will tell me, look, if you want the turbo, it's better on this version, because it can work better for you. And if I'm coming to you and I'm asking for AMG, which is an, a monster engine, he needs to be stupid to show me a, an eco-friendly car that will save me on gas. Because obviously it's not me. I like sports, I like fast, I, I like different things. So a salesman supposed to know his client based on what the client is asking, is supposed to give him the right answers. So a salesman supposed to be a knowledgeable person that identify the client needs and answer them. No more pushy people. Hey, I will give you 10% because I like you. It's over. Those people cannot sell anymore. Okay, well, I did so many experiments and I, I videoed them that I, I went with my kid, because he's innocent, like he's, he's so, he don't know anything about sales, he don't know anything. He just goes and it's what he feels. And I'm taking him to a place that I know the, the sales guy is very pushy. And I tell the sales guy, I want to buy a jacket for my kid. Can you help us? And he's putting on my kid, you know, the jacket. Oh, it's amazing on you. It's amazing. You need to buy it. And he's pushing him. And my kid says, yeah, I don't want to buy her. So, no problem. We're going outside. I said, Eli, what's going on? Why don't we like to buy the jacket? It was beautiful. I don't know. I just don't want it. So I... Can you tell me more? He said, nothing more. I just don't like the jacket. He said, was it the jacket or the person? And he said, you know what? It was the person. I didn't, I didn't feel good with him. So eventually, he, he didn't know why he didn't want to buy. When I was in this store, I knew why I'm not going to buy anything from this guy. Because it was just too much. It was all over me. OK? So pushy people are out of the equation. And that gives everyone that is a normal person lots of, yeah. Because, you know, in the old days, when I did sales training, I was looking for the pushy people. You know, if you're a good, nice person, this job is not for you. It's true. You cannot sell. 